What's going on? This is Lord with the DMF Podcast, and I want to talk about The Blacklist. Boy, The Blacklist is one of my favorite shows. One of my favorite shows of all time. Red Reddington, can't get enough of Red Reddington. But before we get into it, Season 9, I need you to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the intro. So, let's talk about Red Reddington, right? Season 9 of The Blacklist, I've read an article that people are big mad. Ooh, they're mad. They're mad because they killed Elizabeth Keene. Well, look, we knew that Elizabeth Keene had to go away. My issue with what's happening is that they've been trying to kill Reddington. They've had him this disease. He's coughing up blood, he's not well, and they're gonna do a time jump that's two years forward, and Red's still red? That seems like a long time for him to be on his deathbed and still okay. Now maybe the treatment's working or they spin it that way or whatever. We knew that the actress playing Elizabeth King was leaving the blacklist. So we shouldn't be surprised that they actually did kill her. And I'm for it, look, People are going to be mad about this. I'm for them getting rid of Keen for one major reason, and that is Reddington is far more fun than Elizabeth Keen. Reddington needs more time. There, there were episodes where we didn't even see anything that had to do with it. You know, Raymond Reddington is the character of the show. Whether you want to believe it or not, you like Keen, you like Wrestler. You know, you like any of the other cast members. I, I did like Keen's husband when he was on there. I like Tom. I thought Tom died a little little prematurely in the show. I like where that went. But there was a lot of characters that just came and went. And The Blacklist falls under the same category as some of other TV dramas that, that frustrate me. And the frustration is that it's 85% episode around a thing, like with the blacklist, they're chasing a criminal. And then it's 15% or less about the overall long form storyline, like the storyline between Raymond Reddington and Elizabeth Keene, the storylines with Wrestler and all the stuff that he went through, her mother. There's not enough emphasis on the backstory. And at some point during the show, you get, you, you get you're just like, man, I almost forgot that that was even happening because nothing's happened. So I hope that moving forward, we will see more of the backstory. I want to know more about the characters. I want to I want to see more of Reddington being Reddington because his character is so fun and nonchalant and exciting and funny. I like all of it. And we need more Dembe. Man, when they were, look, when Dembe was disappearing for a little bit, not a fan. I said, and I made a friend over this comment on Instagram. I said, everyone needs a Dembe. Everyone needs a Dembe in their life. You know, that dude to Raymond Reddington is everything. And to have somebody like that in your life is, uh, is super important. So I hope moving forward with season nine. I don't know if they're going to do another season after nine, but how they spin off the blacklist and who Raymond's going after and the use, you know, obviously they said they dismantled the task force. So now you've got a rogue wrestler maybe out there, or I wish I could remember the new, uh, the new chick's name. You know, she was kind of spunky. And I, I feel like, you know, when it comes to the boss man, his time is kind of up. We don't really need him. No offense if you're out there and you actually watch this, but, we didn't really need you anymore. Harold just played kind of the gatekeeper a little bit, but as far as everything else going, we didn't need Harold Cooper. So I'm excited to see the new season of Blacklist. I hope we have more Raymond Reddington. We have more fun stuff. We have more quirky characters that he works with. You know, losing Glenn was a was a tough one. You didn't even get to see Glenn that much, but when you did, Glenn was fun. You know, R.I.P. to after that play Glenn, he died over the summer. So I'm going to say this. If you're out there and you're mad that Elizabeth died, don't be mad. 
look, man, let her go do another show, a movie, raise a baby, live her best life. Let's be happy and hope that we get more of this dude. Because he's the star of the show. That's why we tune in. We want to know what that is. Now, I will admit, there was a few seasons where they just drug out the whole Katarina thing. Maybe this is Katarina. That would make sense if, if Raymond Reddington was Katarina in some way. That storyline, look, at some point, just let the cat out the bag. That's all I'm saying. The cat's in there. Before we just get tired of, of caring. Because now that Elizabeth's gone, do we even care if Katarina's alive? We just really kind of don't care. So, who's Elizabeth's father? Doesn't matter, but she's dead. We just move on. That's just the fact. So, if you're out there and you're watching The Blacklist and you're excited, I will talk about it after each week. We will do a recap on The Blacklist. Things I like about it, things I don't like about it, things I think it's going, where I don't know it's going. It's all a surprise. I'm going to cover some of my favorite TV shows, including Dexter, uh, the reboot on Dexter, The Blacklist. I did Heels, kind of went over that. I didn't go episode by episode, but you get the idea. And hell, I'll even talk about some that you may not have seen that you should watch. So, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave me some comments, and I'll see you on the next one.